Over the past century, most of the world's development has been concentrated in a handful of countries. This disparity is due to varying levels of financial access. Better access enabled further wealth and technological creation, leaving over 6 billion people behind. Currently, centralized gatekeepers such as banks, microfinance institutions and mobile carriers are in sole control of the levers of access, slowing development and restricting the tools people can use. The blockchain community has the means to decentralize this environment and the people have strong needs for permissionless access to new economic models. But due to a lack of liquidity outlets, these groups are unable to access each other. No longer. Introducing the Access Network, a decentralized system for financial access that gives the people control over their own incentivized token economy, empowering them to speed up their development and have access to a limitless set of dApps to accelerate it further over time. Built by the team behind Atlas Money, a peer-to-peer -peer community banking platform with over 300 agents that provide door-to-door -door service to over 17,000 users in Ghana and Senegal, Access will have instant liquidity and real-world use. The network's utility token, ACX, is used to vote on network decisions, interact with dApps, and act as a medium of exchange. A reserve of ACX is allocated to ensure an equitable composition of developing world users across the network and is also used to offset early volatility risk to them. Using the network's governance protocol and equitably structured decision modules, people will be able to direct tokens from an incentive pool to create the tools they want to use. More than one decision-making module can be created and amended. The first one will be openly voted on by the network. The Access team has proposed one that will reward developers to build tools. Meet Nana, a Ghanaian market leader. Nana and her peers submit a proposal for greater access to loans and a token reward proportional to the amount of votes for this proposal is set aside to incentivize development. Several developers begin to offer competing solutions to this problem. One is a dApp from a Nigerian dev team that allows people to collateralize their ACX and set their own loan terms, such as size, tenure and interest with any borrower across the world. The network loves their dApp and votes to grant them the token reward. This process could produce countless applications, such as cheaper money sending or use of localized DAOs to create their own schools, businesses, factories and other development needs. Finally, a self-sustaining ecosystem that empowers participants to define financial access for themselves. Access Network. People Empowered.